Learn Oilfield Stuff. Hey there! Welcome back to Learn Oilfield Stuff, the ultimate channel for all things related to the oil and gas industry. Our expert team is dedicated to bringing you informative articles in a fun and engaging way. So, if you're ready to take your knowledge of the oil field to the next level, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we're going to learn about the rotating system, which is what makes drilling possible. We're going to compare the conventional or Kelly system and the top drive system, and see their advantages and disadvantages. We're also going to look at the main components and functions of the rotary system, such as the swivel, the Kelly, the drill pipe, and the rotary table. The rotating system is the part of the drilling rig that provides the mechanism to rotate the drill string and break up the rock formation. The drill string is the assembly of pipes that connects the drill bit at the bottom to the surface equipment. The drill bit is the tool that cuts through the rock and creates the well bore. The rotating system has two types, the conventional or Kelly system, and the top drive system. Let's see how they differ. The conventional or Kelly system has been around since rotary rigs first came into play. It uses a rotary table assembly at the rig floor to create the turning motion. The rotary table assembly consists of a special chain and shaft that power a circular device called the turntable. The rotary table has a hole in the center where a square or hexagonal pipe called the Kelly fits in. The Kelly is attached to the drill string at one end and to a device called the swivel at the other end. The swivel hangs from the hook and the traveling block, which are part of the hoisting system that we learned about in a previous video. The swivel has three main functions. It supports the weight of the drill string and allows it to move up and down with the traveling block. It allows the drill string to turn, and it provides a pressure-tight seal for drilling fluid to flow down the drill string. So, how does this system work? Well, as the rotary table turns, it rotates the Kelly bushing, which is a device that grips the Kelly and transmits its rotation. The Kelly then rotates the drill string and the drill bit, which break up the rock formation. As we drill deeper, we need to add more pipes to extend the drill string. To do this, we have to stop rotating, lift up the drill string until only one joint or length of pipe is above the rotary table, unscrew it from the rest of the drill string, lower it down and set it aside on a rack. Then we take another joint of pipe from a rack, screw it onto the top of the drill string, Lower it down until only one joint is above the rotary table again, screw it onto the Kelly, and resume rotating. We repeat this process every time we need to add more pipes. Now let's talk about some advantages and disadvantages of this system. One advantage is that it is simple and reliable. It has been used for decades and proven to work well in many situations. Another advantage is that it is cheaper than a top drive system. A disadvantage is that it is slower and less efficient than a top drive system. It can only add one joint of pipe at a time, which usually measures about 30 feet long. This means that every 30 feet of drilling or tripping in or out of the hole requires a connection time where we have to stop rotating and add or remove pipes. This can take several minutes per connection and add up to hours or days over the course of a well. Another disadvantage is that it requires manual handling of pipes by the crew using tools such as spinning chains and tongs. These tools can be hazardous and cause injuries if not used properly. So what about the top drive system? Well, this is a newer, more efficient and robust system that has become more popular since the 1980s. It replaces the rotary table, the kelly and the swivel and hangs from the hook directly. The top drive has its own motor and pipe handling system that can rotate the entire drill string and bit directly without using a rotary table or a Kelly. It also has a gooseneck that connects to a hose that supplies drilling fluid to flow down the drill string. How does this system work? Well, as the top drive motor turns, it rotates the drive shaft, which is attached to a saver sub, which is just a threaded pipe at the bottom of the top drive. The saver sub then rotates the drill string and the drill bit, which break up the rock formation. 
As we drill deeper, we need to add more pipes to extend the drill string. To do this, we can add more pipes in longer sections called stands. A stand usually consists of three joints of pipe that measure about 90 feet long. This means that every 90 feet of drilling or tripping in or out of the hole requires a connection time where we have to stop rotating and add or remove pipes. To do this, we use the pipe handling system of the top drive, which has built-in makeup and breakout and spinning tongs that can automatically handle the pipes without manual intervention by the crew. The top drive can also move up and down along a track on the derrick, which allows it to reach the pipe racks without having to lower the traveling block. Now let's talk about some advantages and disadvantages of this system. One advantage is that it is faster and more efficient than a conventional system. It can add three joints of pipe at a time, which reduces the connection time by two-thirds compared to a conventional system. This can save a lot of time and money over the course of a well. Another advantage is that it allows drillers to ream longer sections of hole, which can be used to prevent stuck pipe or condition the well. Reaming takes place after we drill a stand down. Continue to rotate as we pick up off bottom to the length of that stand. This can be critical if we have poor conditions and a lot of risk of stuck pipe. Another advantage is that it eliminates the need for manual handling of pipes by the crew using tools such as spinning chains and tongs. These tools can be hazardous and cause injuries if not used properly. The top drive system is safer and more reliable than a conventional system. A disadvantage of this system is that it is more expensive than a conventional system. It requires more power, maintenance, and training to operate. It also adds more weight to the hook load, which can limit the depth that can be drilled with a given rig. Another disadvantage is that it can be more prone to failures or malfunctions than a conventional system. If the top drive breaks down or gets stuck, it can cause delays or complications in drilling or tripping operations. So there you have it, folks. That's the rotating system in a nutshell. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more drilling related content. Questions? Do you have any questions about drilling? Leave them in the comments section below and we will try to answer them. Until then, stay curious and keep drilling.